What's up, y'all? Welcome to my channel. Last time I posted a video was definitely August. It was my summer teacher haul. I apologize, though. Like, life has really hit the floor, bro. Like, but you know what? God is getting us through this, and I'm back, and I'm better. Before we get into this video, make sure you guys like this video, subscribe to the channel, and also comment something on this video just because, you know, I like to talk to y'all sometimes. When y'all do talk, I talk back. All right, so we're going to talk about this shirt that caught my... Like literally caught my eyes the other day and I ended up buying it. I don't want to call it an impulse buy only because I feel like it wasn't an impulse buy. I mean, I'm pretty sure you read the title. You already know it's a Kenzo t-shirt. This is a Kenzo collab that he did with another designer, another Japanese designer named Kansai Yamamoto. I hope I pronounced that right. I'm not Japanese, so bear with me. Um, We're going to call him KY. I'm pretty sure most of you guys know what Kenzo is, but if you do not know, Kenzo is a street a fashion streetwear brand. Created by Kenzo Takata. I think I pronounced that right too. It's basically like a streetwear brand. It's pretty much up there. I'm going to give it a level below Palm Angels and Stone Island. Because that's like really expensive clothing. This one is more affordable. It's crazy because Takata just passed away in October. And then when I did my research for this video, Yamamoto died in July. I was like, whoa, what the fuck is going on? So rest in peace to both of them. Um, Basically, I just wanted to talk to you guys about the t-shirt. um, Because... I bought it, and I feel like other people would buy it too, so I want to give my review and my thoughts on the shirt, as far as the fit, the construction of it, the price point, and also, like, she just, in general, at the end, just decide to make that purchase and go buy it. So, that's what we discussing in this video. Heads up real fast, I unboxed this pre-video, okay? Of course, because I'm not, I'm not about to come on, on YouTube, talk to you guys for, like, 10 minutes, get to the box. Unbox it and it's some shit that I did not order. This is how the shirt look. Again, I told you I unboxed it. I want probably wouldn't add some B-roll on the side because I don't want to put the shirt on, even though I didn't have it on before. But I'm gonna put the shirt on right now. I think what really drew me to this shirt was the whole aesthetic of it. It did have that oversized look, which I do like look for in shirts when I do like when they spend a little bit more money than general. Um the whole like print, the aesthetic print on it really like caught my eye. Then around the line, as you can see, are the words um, Kenzo and Kansai Yamamoto and the Japanese calligraphy writing style. Don't know what these two words say right here, but I just thought it was dope that they decided to implement like, because remember these two artists are Japanese and they're implementing a lot of Japanese style. You know? Now we're gonna get into the four main topics of this whole entire video, which is definitely the uh, construction, the fit, there should you buy it in the price point so it started with a construction when i looked it up the shirt did it did say that the shirt is 100 percent cotton so mentally i'm thinking okay i already know what to expect i already know that this shirt is going to fit me a certain kind of way it's going to feel comfortable because it's 100 percent cotton but then when i looked on another website essence where i bought the shirt from uh the shirt said that it had 100 percent cotton again i was like right cool but then they had 100 percent polyester trim I figured out that it was talking about the neckline and also like the um the trim that's at the end of your sleeves you know how like what happens like in the summer where you wear a regular cotton t-shirt um and you do walk outside in like 98 degree weather and that sweat catches that neckline your shirt starts to droop down it won't be happening because polyester is such a stretchy fabric that i'm assuming that most of the heat that i accumulate in the summer because it's a lot be hot as hell kind of exert some of that heat out and prevent the neckline from starting to do down now as far as the fit the fit you really know like i already knew what the fit was like when i seen it on the model the model looked like it was oversized and a boxy fit i said already right, bad i already know what to expect fit meaning that it would fit like an oversized it's not gonna be slim on the body not gonna be tight on the body it's gonna be loose on the arm but also loose on the waist and the drop shoulder meaning that the sleeves are going to be long. That is what really drew me to the shirt. My biggest pet peeve about t-shirts, like, and the shirt doesn't do it. This is a good t-shirt as well. It gives me at least a little bit room, a little bit room on the arm. So I am a bigger guy, so I need room in my shirts. I need room on my arm. I, I hate when I get t-shirts that fit the body, but does not fit the arms. And it'll be like, why did you just give me baby sleeve? Sometimes with my shirts, like the deodorant starts to stick inside and I'm ruining my shirt. This shirt and especially this new Kenzo shirt, that's not happening only because it's so much room that the deodorant stains will not happen. And I'm, I don't want to spend all this money to waste. Speaking of money, let's talk about the price point. The price point of the t-shirt is $190. Yes, it's $190. Now I know that's a lot to some people. 
I mean, it's a lot in general. What am, what am I saying? It's a lot to anybody. One name is a lot. Now, my thing with the 190 is when you compare it to brands like Palm Angels and Stone Island, you're spending 320. Balenciaga tees run about 550. I think this one was only 190 because it was a collab, which makes sense. But like the regular graphic tees are literally a hundred dollars. Think about it. You're spending 190 for two fashion perspective, two fashion designers, not one. And that leads into the last part of this. Should you buy it? I would say, hell yeah, buy it. Buy the damn shirt. This shirt is dope. It's so comfortable. It doesn't feel like a regular t-shirt, so you don't feel like you're wasting your money for spending 190. I can tell that they actually implemented great quality into making the t-shirt. Like, my biggest thing is nobody wants to feel uncomfortable in a $200 t-shirt. We have a $200 t-shirt that is living up to its value. You're going to get your wares out of this. You're going to feel great wearing it. Yeah, for sure. Definitely buy the shirt. I think you should do it. It comes in black and it also comes in white. But with the white one, the writing is in black. So it can contrast with the white background. But yeah, thank you guys for checking in with me and watching this video. I will be posting more soon. I told y'all I'm back and I'm better. So, I hope you guys like this video. I hope you guys subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for more content because it's coming up. I will catch you on the next one.